Welcome back. Welcome back to our uh, next part of the Barbariana song breakdown. So let's talk about the breakdown. <laughs> 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 So tell me what is happening there. Yeah, so basically, or tell these people what's happening. It's very simple. Uh, it's just a group of four. Takatan, takatan, takatan. But Th these are only three notes. Why group of four? Two sixteenth notes and one eighth note. So, so it's four sixteenth notes. Yeah. Four. And we play these over and over again, but we shift the subdivisions that we play it in. So it's constant metric modulations. But the grouping of four stays the same. So it's this thing that you look at from different points of view. And we actually did it so that the subdivisions become bigger and bigger. So it feels like the tempo is getting slower and slower until we're actually in half time of where we started. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah, it's basically okay. arriving in half time through yes. metric modulation, but it's connected through the ongoing group of four. idea is to take a pattern and just have a different look from different perspectives rhythmically so if you watch watch closely at the, uh, the video what I do is always the same I only play the pattern and like only you are shifting basically yeah in the song <laughs> Afterwards, I realized that I was pretty familiar with uh, this concept because there is a song by Dream Theater. The, the concept is not new, but... Uh, but obviously, we took it a few steps further to not only have the three and the group of four, but we also went to like five and seven, which is, which sounds pretty amazing. And also, which is cool in this song, that, that we also like switch the harmonies in that way. So, <laughs> I'm always happy to try things with this instrument. Mm -hmm. 